Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be taking a little bit of a detour and talking about a little mini theory that I have based on a couple things we've seen from the newest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. And that has to do with the theme of traveling and specifically air and sea travel in this new region. Now this video isn't gonna be overly complicated or overly long because a lot of it is maybe obvious, but we've seen a lot of really good hints from some of the recent Pokemon trailers and the footage we've seen from those trailers to confirm some of the speculation. Now I want to throw an assist over to Soul Silver Art on Twitter. He is the one who posted these symbols and various things onto social media, at least the first one I saw, and it kind of got my brain going as to what these features could be. So big credit to him. If you want to drop a follow to him on Twitter, he is always talking about rumors and theories and speculation. He's got some really good stuff. In in the trailer, he caught a couple symbols that seemed to point to a nautical-based exploration of this Pokemon region. The first one that he mentions and that we can see in the trailer is a symbol that seems to be a fisherman's net. This is interesting and it really it kind of makes a lot of sense spain and subsequently portugal the iberian peninsula is very famous for its seafaring for its naval capabilities the fact that pokemon would use this as inspiration in a region is pretty obvious another thing that we notice is another symbol that is seen in the trailer and that is of a pokemon-esque boat it is a boat with a pokeball in the center this is the the image that is most interesting to me there's a third image that i saw floating around social media that is separate from this seafaring stuff and it is actually on display on the gas station pokemon centers the bp centers as i'm going to call them and it is a what looks to be some inspiration of flight some air travel there's a lot of traveling ambiance and inspiration that we've seen so far for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it appears to be a major theme of the region. Now, it makes sense when you're talking about Spain, the Spanish Empire spread across the known world in ancient times. Ancient times, it's not that long ago. They were very well known for their seafaring. Columbus uh, traveled across the Atlantic Ocean at the behest of the king and queen of Spain, so all of this does really fit into the region itself. I like that they're taking this motif and really building upon it. We don't necessarily know what these symbols themselves are going to mean yet, but I want to propose a couple theories and a couple ideas as to how they could be implemented. Instead of just, you know, painting the region with this brush, how can these be turned into features for us to enjoy in the gameplay. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Now, check out the Join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that would also be greatly appreciated. The first bit of speculation that we could point to is that air travel and sea travel are going to be a mechanic in these games now. I'm not going to speculate that you're going to be able to travel via air or via sea to a previous region. I, I <laughs> Kalos, if you would think in terms of a real life map, is close to this region if they were to actually line them up with how they line up in real life. And there's no reason to assume they wouldn't. It's what they do with the Japanese inspired Pokemon regions, Sinnoh, Kanto, Johto. So there's no reason to think they wouldn't do it here. But Galar was a British region. And to get to France from Great Britain, you travel across a small sea. They could have incorporated it there and they chose not to. So to think that because these two regions touch in terms of Europe, I don't think that's enough to come to a speculation that they're going to let us visit a previous region. If they were going to let us visit a region not named Kalos, that would make even less sense. Maybe it's to inspire some sort of remake or to bring back Pokemon from a different region. That's not going to be what happens here. But maybe there are going to be islands and different archipelagos that you're going to be able to visit off the coast of this region. We don't know how big Spain is going to be in this game. We don't know how expansive the towns and villages littered about this fully open world game are going to be, but what if there was a mechanic that allowed you to explore the open oceans? Some sort of Wind Waker kind of traveling system that allow you to go to different islands and find different Pokemon, different items, and different gimmick uh, uh, things depending on what the gimmick is. 
we have a big open world to traverse. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, Game Freak was very cognizant to try to add gameplay mechanics into that environment for you to engage with. They were the raid battles of Pokemon Sword and Shield. You would have to assume that there's going to be some sort of feature, maybe treasure hunting of some sort, some sort of mini game that allows you to get an item or a Pokemon reward, something to keep you exploring through these areas even after you've been to them before. Maybe the Pokemon change, maybe the weather change allows you to find different areas that aren't open, but I think the sea is going to be something that could play a major role. And I think that the sea travel versus air travel theme is going to also be one that connects to the past versus the future, the, the old school versus the innovation theme that Pokemon and Game Freak seem to be going with with these games. Maybe the planes are the more advanced way that you, the player character, can travel, and that's less of your control. It just immediately fast travels you to the location. This is seen as the modern approach. Maybe when you take a boat, it's a more of an old-fashioned ship. You have to navigate it yourself. You have to traverse terrain, traverse wild water-type Pokemon and flying-type Pokemon that could be in your way. Maybe there are dangers that get keep you from where you're going to these islands that you're trying to explore. All of this could be really fun gameplay mechanics in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you've played Wind Waker, I mentioned it before, it is one of the most enjoyable parts of Wind Waker is the open oceans that you can explore. A lot of people criticized it for not uh, kind of building on the mechanic enough, but I think it did a really good job and it was a really fun piece. If they were to lift that sort of idea and put it into an open world Pokemon game, maybe even with a mini map of sorts to allow you to more more easily and more accessibly navigate the open world that could do a lot for the exploration aspect of the game. I think it would be a really fun and novel way to both build off Spain and you would have to presume Portugal's seafaring and just travel and exploration history while also adding in mechanics that really fit your open world style. There's a bunch of really cool travel things that people have picked up from the trailer and I think adding some kind of seafaring mechanic and airfaring mechanic that also ties in nicely to the motif that they're going for with past versus present could be really cool. But those are just a couple of ideas for sea and air travel that I had based on the trailer and based on some chatter in the community. I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think this motif would be good for Scarlet and Violet? Do you think it would fit with the theming that they seem to already be going for? And what other ideas for gameplay mechanics can you guys think of? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got a ton of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content coming over the next couple months until release. It is going to be a blast. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.